I love sparkling drinks, and by love, I mean I indulge in a few every single day. So I would consider myself a sparkling drink expert. A few years ago, it was all about LaCroix. Then it shifted to Topo Chico, and then there was a shortage on Topo, which was really sad. Now there's a new sparkling drink, and that is Poppy. Poppy has been all the rage, and it's been all over Instagram, it's been all over TikTok, it's been all over Facebook and X and all the social media platforms out there. Um, and so in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to open and taste test them for the first time. I've never tried Poppy. Um, I am really excited to see what they taste like and uncover the truth. Is Poppy healthy or not healthy? So let's just dive right in. The first flavor I have been wanting to try is this ginger lime. I love ginger and I love lime. Um, so let's try it. Okay. It smells like Sprite. Okay, so this um, ginger lime has 20 calories. Um, the ingredients is sparkling water, organic cane sugar, organic apple cider, vinegar, lime juice, organic agave, natural flavors, lemon juice, stevia, concentrate. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh my gosh, that tastes just like Sprite. That is so good. Wow. I quite literally love this. Mm. Five out of five. The next flavor I want to try is this grape. I have never really liked any flavored grapes. Like, it's just not my thing. Um, but we'll just give it a go and see what it tastes like. So. Oh gosh, that literally smells so artificial. It's disgusting. Let's see. Same ingredients. Um, it has white grape, um, cane sugar, oh, vegetable juice for color. Interesting. All right. All right, that's what that looks like. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. It tastes so fake. The flavor is just fake. I, I don't like this at all. So this I'm gonna give a one out of five. Um, the next one, which I'm actually really excited for, is this um, orange flavor one. So I grew up drinking um, Santa, which is a Mexican drink, and my favorite flavor was the orange one. Um, so. Let's give it a go. Five out of five. That's really good. Um, so same, similar ingredients to the other two, except this one has lemon juice, lemon juice, um, natural flavors, agave, apple cider vinegar. Um, the next one I'm going to try is this um, raspberry rose. Full transparency, I hate the flavor of rose. Um, I think that it tastes like soap. So let's see how this one tastes. Okay, this one has a really cute pink color to it. Um, I think this would be really cute for a girl's dinner or you know, just make it a cute cocktail or something. Um, this one has 25 calories. So again, very similar uh, ingredients to the other one. So nothing really changed there. Oh, hmm. Five out of five. I'm actually really surprised that I like this one, given the fact that it has rose and I really don't like anything rose. So that's really, really good. So, so far we have ginger lime, five out of five. We have the orange, 
five out of five. And then we have the um, raspberry five out of five. So, so far so good. And then the grape, not so good. Okay, moving on, we're gonna try this watermelon flavor. Let's see. Ooh, another nice pink drink. Smells like watermelon. Oh, uh, wow, that's really gross. But I'm gonna drink it because I don't like to waste stuff. Oh, it tastes like cough syrup. That's what it tastes like. The next one um, was this uh, classic cola um, flavor. 25 calories, oops, um, it has five grams of sugar. Same ingredients, just like the other ones, you know, the sparkling water, organic cane sugar, apple juice, fruit juice, color, organic apple cider vinegar, organic agave, natural flavors, um, stevia, natural tartaric acid, which I don't know what that means. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this one. That is so gross. Do you guys remember the Coke that came out that had the vanilla, like the Coke vanilla flavor? Um, yeah. If you did not like that flavor and it's just not your cup of tea, this is not gonna be your cup of tea. It legitimately tastes just like the vanilla Coke flavor. Yeah, I'm not gonna drink this. This is definitely a one out of five as well. So yeah, that is the taste test. Now let's get into the ingredients. Although, yes, Poppy is a way better alternative than your regular soda. Is it the healthiest? No. Um, the reason why I believe it's not the healthiest because one, it does contain natural flavors. Um, natural flavors um, are um, created in a lab. And to be honest with you, I just, I don't want to consume anything that has natural flavors because I want to put stuff that is um, real into my body. Not saying that it's the worst thing, but is it the best thing? Probably not. The other thing I don't really love about Poppy is that they add sugar. My question is, do you really need to add sugar if your drinks are containing apple cider vinegar, lime juice, um, lemon juice. This is all stuff that is really good and it tastes good. So why do you have to sweeten it when all those things are already sweet with cane sugar? I mean, at least it's organic cane sugar, but it's still sugar, something that I don't want to put in my body. So if you were keto, this would knock you out of ketosis for sure. So let me give you guys an alternative drink. Uh, my favorite drink that I literally buy every day almost uh, because we just drink so much of it. And that is Spindrift. Why do I prefer Spindrift? Well, just as an example, um, all they literally put in their drinks is carbonated water, lemon juice no sugar three calories three in this um lemon flavored one no natural flavors it's two ingredients let's go to this um raspberry lime the ingredients carbonated water raspberry puree lime juice no sugar five calories. So you can see why I would prefer something along the lines of this drink versus something like Poppy. Um, so, you know, this is just a really good alternative to have if you want to put those healthy ingredients in your body. Again, I'm not saying that Poppy is bad. The truth is their marketing is really good. Not gonna lie. I picked this up and I'm like, hell yeah. 
I'm drinking this and it's super healthy. Well, one thing to know is please, 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 please get into the habit of reading ingredients because that is key. You can't necessarily rely on companies um, to tell you what's healthy or not. You have to decipher what is healthy for your body and what you can consume. Um, I think that's the issue right now with um, society. Like we expect for people to tell us what is healthy and what is not healthy. And we don't do our own research and we don't, you know, we don't make that decision for ourselves. And um, in my household, I always read the ingredients and I always um, make sure that we're putting in the right stuff. My goal for this channel is to show you guys that, you know, buying good and good groceries does not have to be expensive. Um, you know, so I hope this helped and I hope that you go out there and you buy Spindrift. Um, again, I'm not being paid by Spindrift by no means. <laughs> I just really love Spindrift. So I hope this video helped and gave you a little bit more um, guidance on what kind of drinks you want to consume. And if you want to go buy Poppy, go buy Poppy. If you want to go drink Spindrift and go buy Spindrift, go buy Spindrift. Um, again, this is just a very informative video I wanted to put out there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Bye.